Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we take 5 raised to the power 6 to the left hand side. That is, here we have x minus 3, 4 raised to the power 6 minus 5 raised to the power 6 equals to 0 from here. Then, here we can write this as x minus 3, 4 raised to the power 3. Then all raised to the power 2. As 2 times 3 here give us 6, then minus. Also, 5 raised to the power 3. Then raised to the power 2 equals to 0 here. That is here. This follows the difference of 2 squares. Now we have a square minus b square. This same thing as a plus b into brackets. Then open brackets a minus b. That is here, a standing as x minus 3 or raised to power 3, and b standing as 5 raised to power 3. Then what we have here, follow this and becomes x minus 3 or raised to power 3 plus 5 raised to power 3 into bracket, and also open bracket x minus 3. Or raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 close brackets then equals to 0 from here that is here we have two possible cases first one x minus 3 or raised to power 3 plus 5 raised to power 3 equals to 0 or we have x minus 3 or raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 equals to 0 here. Then, solving on this side, this follows when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3, which can be written as a plus b into brackets, then open bracket a squared minus ab plus b squared. That is, what we have here, follow this and becomes x minus 3 plus 5 into brackets, the open bracket x minus 3 all square, the minus 5 times x minus 3 plus 5 squared, close brackets, now equals to 0 here. Okay, this becomes x plus 2 into brackets and open brackets expansion here give us x squared minus 6x plus 9 the minus 5 open brackets here we have minus 5x plus 15 then plus 25 close bracket equals to 0 here which also becomes x plus 2 into brackets and open brackets x squared minus minus 6x minus 5x as minus 11x then we have 25 plus 15 that gives us 40 40 plus 9 we have 49 close bracket then equals to 0 here at this here we have two possible cases we have x plus 2 equals to 0 or x squared minus 11x plus 49 equals to 0 here. That is, solving on this side, we have x equals to minus 2, which is a real solution here. Then, here we have a quadratic equation, where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 11, and c equals to 49. And applying the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. And what we have here becomes x equals to minus minus 11 plus or minus square root of minus 11 squared. Then minus 4 times 1 times 49. Then over 
2 times 1. That is, here we have x equals to minus times minus, that's plus. We have 11, then plus or minus, square root of minus 11 square. We have 121, then minus 4 times 1 times 49. We have 196, then all over 2 here, which implies. This becomes x equals to 11 plus or minus square root of 121 minus 186. We have minus 75, then over 2. That is, yeah, we can as well write this as x equals to 11 plus or minus square root of 25 times 3 times minus 1. Then over 2. That is, we can separate this and we bring our 25, that's 5. And we have x equals to 11 plus or minus 5. Then we have root 3 and root minus 1 is i. Then over 2. That is, here we have two complex solutions here. Then, solving from the second case here, this follows when we have. A raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 is the same thing as a minus b into brackets, then open bracket a square plus ab plus b square. That is what we have here. Follow this and becomes x minus 3 minus 5 into brackets, then open bracket x minus 3 all squared plus 5 times x minus 3 plus 5 squared close brackets and equals to 0 here then here we have x minus 8 into bracket the open bracket expansion here give us x squared minus 6 x plus 9 then 5 open this bracket we have plus 5 x minus 15 then plus 25 Close bracket equals to zero here. Then okay. yeah, here we can write this as x minus eight into brackets, then open bracket x square minus six x plus five x give us minus x, then twenty-five minus fifteen, that's ten. Ten plus nine, that's plus nineteen. Close bracket equals to zero here. Also here we have two possible cases. First one x minus eight equals to zero. Or we have x square minus x plus 19 equals to 0 here. Then from here, this gives us x equals to 8, which is a real solution here. And also here, we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 1, and c equals to 19. That is. Applying the quadratic formula, we have x now equals to minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times 19, then over 2 times 1, which implies this becomes x equals to minus times minus as plus at this 1 plus or minus square root of Minus 1 squared is still 1, then minus 4 times 1 times 19. We have 76, then over 2. That is, here yeah, this becomes x equals to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 76 minus 75 over 2. That is here, we can write this as x equals to 1 plus or minus square root of 25 times 3 times minus 1, then over 2. Now we take our root 25, that's 5, and this becomes x equals to 1 plus or minus 5 root 3, then root minus 1 is i over 2, which implies here also. We have two complex solutions here, and therefore, all together here, we have six solutions in this problem. That is, two real solutions here.
two complex solutions here and two complex solutions here. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.